calling upon parents and uh, students from this region uh, who qualify to train in the skills offered here to be ready to start. Already 120 students have registered to start courses. So I'm calling upon the parents, the leaders from this region to bring more school leavers to come and train here because we have the staff that are qualified to train and our major courses are agricultural value addition, agricultural general agriculture, building technology, ICT, which has been uh, taken by many students. And I request the Minister of Education uh, from this, um, the officials from the State Department of Vocational and Technical Training present to assist us get the necessary infrastructure, particularly computers, to enable us to uh, train because computer training is a common cause and it has been taken by very many students. Otherwise, let me now, I want to take this opportunity uh, to welcome our peers for the pollution and assault areas. Mwishimua uh, Moroto, Ministry of Education officials who have visited us today. Uh, we are indeed very happy for your visit. Uh, they have come to lounge the construction of the uh, generator base and uh, to make it uh, ready for training to start. Uh, indeed, we are ready to receive students. We are awaiting the report of the CS task force for the opening of tertiary institutions and physical education institutions. And this visit by the BS and the Ministry of Education uh, officials and Honorable Moroto, the area MB, is very important uh, because it all amounts to making us ready to start training. I'm very sure with what we have deliberated today and what is going to be done after this, uh, we shall be ready to start. Already uh, the singing of the water pothole is underway. In a week's time, we expect drilling to start. And it is our hope uh, that by the time college is reopen, we shall have water because this institution has very uh, has two workshops which use a lot of water. We have the fluid uh, processing workshop and the meat processing workshop which requires a lot of water. And what the BS has come to check today is in line with uh, making our institution ready for training. Thank this team who have come here today, especially from ministry and our peers, who is also a local from around here. With the spirit he has, I know we'll go far. And uh, this is not the first time PS is supporting us here. When we started, we used to work together. And I want to thank uh, the government of Kenya because all the support they have given us here. Yeah, as a community, we maybe the part we gave out was just a land. But all the resources is from the government. The building you see here, all that you can see around here is just from the government. But I want also to, to thank the Wazi, these elders here. Who, who thought of it and accepted and gave us the land. It's a big land. 
and there are so many other pro uh, programs to come in. I know, I know we'll make it. Just I want to appeal to the locals, to start with the locals, especially the students, to come and take advantage for this institution. There's a good learning here. This is now our technology, the current one, not like during our time when you used to just read, we were just taking arts where you just read about history and ends there, geography, Fasakata Kama was there, who was there. But now this is the practical thing you can do. It. But now you'll not go far, you'll just begin from here. I'll also appeal if the, the, the neighbors, even Turkana, Transoya, Marakwet, they can have students coming here because we always take change. I was get out of this place to the area. Now we'll also have them here so that we can integrate and move together. Otherwise, I want to sincerely thank the Minister of Education because what they have done, apart from this one here, if you see the, the, the schools around here, they're really doing very well. And we are doing well in the exams huh? because of that uh, humble uh, um, opportunity given and the way they take us. West Pokot was a closed district during colonial time. And then uh, it is now this time, through the devolution and others, that we are coming up. Otherwise, I want to say, I want to thank even the engineers, including Madam, who has also come here to advise us and see what we can do. I think we even ladies can now see from there. We have some people who have learned, and they are now in the church of a certain um, docket in the national. So you can have that opportunity come start, and you'll go far, and you do well. I want to appeal. This now, you have to do very well, and very fast, especially this week. They get and everything. Because the, the machine is, which is going to be put here, and all arrangements here, need a lot of security. So now, finish with yours here. Let whoever was given the contract, if it's not doing, then get out, get at somebody else. We want to move very fast. 19 October is not far. Anytime, students will be around. Thank you. Uh, P.S., uh, because I've been going from one institution to the other, but here you can see that we have the peers and also Mwishimio. That means that they are very supportive and that is what we are looking towards too because uh, without their support, we cannot do much. I just wanted to say that uh, as a Ministry of Education, we are uh, really ready to support this area because uh, Kitela Kapel, as you have seen, received uh, agricultural value addition. We are still working on uh, Sigor and uh, Chepareria. We have also assigned, we shall assign them some equipment and I'm sure they will also take off in the near future. I just wanted to say that uh, for this institution, the reason why it has not taken off is because of power. But I'm glad that our PS, Dr. Juan, has already signed a contract with some companies to come and install the switch gear. And for this particular institution, the contractor is right here with me. Dutron was appointed to come and install uh, the switch gear. Once he has installed the switch gear, then Kenya Power will come and install three phase. We have already walked around. We have been shown the site where the contractor will install the switch gear and we believe that in the next two months this place will be changed forever because there will be power and as you are aware our cs has already announced that from 19th of october the students will be coming in so we expect these institutions to start running from 19th october and by then hopefully we shall have the switch gear installed and kenya power will also do their work otherwise i wish the community well, and uh, they should take advantage of making use of this institution, because uh, as we have seen, the equipment can process milk, be it fresh milk or yogurt, uh, fruits, and also meat. So we have looked around, and I think it's a good project here. Fashion, arid and semi-arid lands. And here today, we have come with the team of, from the Minister of Education, on my PF, on, on behalf of my colleague, uh, PS Dr. Juan, uh, with his team, uh, we've come here to inspect the ongoing work and also to finalize the issues on electricity, which has been limiting the, the inception of this institution, because the power that has been there has been less, 
but uh, from today a uh, process has been started to ensure within the next uh, two three months we will be having enough power for it to be utilized in this, in this institution and this is a very very big institution i can say it's one of the state of art middle level colleges in this country in this region as well as uh, in this county so i think uh, it is uh, it is a game changer in this region because it is uh, having a lot of issues on value addition of um, many agricultural products we are having value addition on uh, livestock be it dairy uh, meat and many other institutions so i think uh, we have an advantage in this region in that especially on the livestock production we have the raw materials which is the livestock so i think this one will act both as a training institution as well as um, commercialization especially on those agricultural products so i think uh, we are calling upon uh, students who have finished their form four and they are unable to join the universities that there is an opportunity uh, government has provided through this institution to help them attain the skills that they can use outside there. So I think it is important uh, as uh, on behalf of the national government, we will fast track this project to ensure that um, once uh, schools open, we are going to have this institution ready for our learners to come and start their, their training. So thank you so much. God bless you.